Hello everyone. Today we are going to read the chapter six square and square roots of class eight mathematics. So in the chapter six we are going to start today. Is the name between the square and the square roots? So first of all we need to identify or we need to know what is the square. So square is what? The square of a number is a number which we get by multiplying itself. That means if we multiply any number by itself, then that given number, that product will be the square number. For example, we can take suppose any number is there five. So if we multiply this five into five, so that will be equal to what? Twenty five. So this twenty five is the square number of five. So another another example we can take that seven multiplied seven. So we we'll get we we'll get what? And forty nine. And that forty nine is the square number of seven. That means if any number is there, any number is there, and we multiply that number by itself, in that case that would be the square number. That would be the square number. So basically, we can say if n is any number which can be expressed as n square, then n is a square number of n. n is the square number of n. Right? So n any number which can be expressed in the terms of n square. So in that case, should be in that that number would be square number. Right? So we'll see. So we'll see the sum points on the square number that all the square numbers and with Zero, one, four, five, six, or nine, eight units place. All the square numbers which act with zero, one, four, five, six, or nine at unit place, right? Then, then after we we'll see the another point about the square number is the square number can only have even numbers of zero at the number even at the end, right? Suppose any example we are taking ten. So the square of ten number would be what? It would be what? Hundred. It would be hundred. So only two. That is even. So even number of zeros we have that any number we can take two. So square of two, twenty square is what? Twenty square is four hundred. We are taking this four hundred. So how many two zeros? Zeros are there? Two zeros. That means the square number we have only even numbers of even numbers of zero at the end. Okay. Then we will see and we will talk about the square roots. The square roots are what the inverse operation of a square. A square a is defined as square that will multiply itself. Then in the a square root it is just opposite of a square. So we will divide or we will factorize that any number which is a square number into the square of any two number. For example, we can say this twenty five. Twenty five can be factorized as five into five. Right? Twenty five can be factorized into to a uh, five into five. So this will be equal to So this will write as this one is the symbol which we use for we denote the square root as symbol under root. This one is called as under root or square root. We can say. So if we find the square root of this 25, so this will be under square root 25, and this will factorize. This 25 will factorize in terms of the square of a number. The square of a number. So that will write as 5 square. Or we can write this as Under root five into five, and we write this as we write this as five to five. This five, this we write as five. So square root of twenty-five is five. This square root means what? That square root means what? It is if it is there. So square root denotes on the half power half. So this square root we can write as five to the power two and whole to the power one by two. This square root denotes the power in power in half. Right? As the number in square we take power two. So in this square root we take power half. So what is the number we have? That we write as this. Right? And then we can solve this. We can solve as by the exponent log of exponent we can write this. So this will be the square root. That means for the square root shows the power as half. So this one is the square root. This is and we will see how we will find the square root in next topic. We will see is the numbers between two square numbers. How many numbers, non non square numbers are there between two square numbers? So how we can find that? Suppose any number is there, like suppose I am taking two square. So this one is the two square. So that will be number square number will be four and three square the next number. Right? So consecutive numbers are there. So in that case, how many non square numbers are there between this four and nine? Right? So that we can find as this we can take as n right, and this one we are taking n plus one. Right, n plus one square. So between these two numbers, we can say nine minus 
4 that is equal to 5 right so this and 4 and 5 between 4 and 5 how many numbers are there more than 5 we have 5 6 7 and 8 4 numbers are there 4 non square numbers are there between this 4 and 9 so how can we find it easily so for that we have what we have the formula that is 2 into n n is what the smaller number we have taken right so 2 n will be what like this here you can see 2 into 2 so how many square numbers are there 4 non square numbers are there between 4 and 9 suppose any other number we are taking like 3 square 3 square and 4 square so 3 square is 9 and 4 square is 16 so between these two how many numbers will be there how many numbers will be there 2 into 3 so that will be 6 numbers and you can find between 9 and 6, 16 there are 6 numbers so which are they the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 these are the 6 non square numbers you can take another example for example we are taking what the 4 is square and 5 is square. 4 is square is 16 and 5 is square is 25. Right? So how many numbers will be there? There will be 2 into n. So this one is n and that's one is n plus 1. Right? So 2n is what? 2n. 2 into 4. So that will be 8 non square numbers will be there between the 16 and 25. So here you can say what are the numbers? 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23 and 24. These are the 8 numbers. So we, we can find. So the numbers between 2 square number are formula for that is 2 into n. That n is a smaller, a smaller square number. Right? I hope it is clear the two numbers between the square number. The next point to discuss is Pythagorean triplet. A is going to make a Pythagorean, that means it would really be, it is related to Pythagorean's theorem. And what is that? If any, in any numbers is there, any number like 3 square plus 4 square, and we know 3 square is what? 3 square is 9 plus 4 square is 16, and this is 3 square is 25, which is what? This one is the 5 square. That means this 3, 4, 5 are Pythagorean triplets. This 3, 4, 5 are Pythagorean triplet. Now, what is important is that how we can find a pi the remaining numbers of, uh, or you can say how we can find the Pythagorean triplet if one of the number is there, one of the number is given. In that case, the formula will be the first number will be the 2n, then the second number will be the n square minus 1, and the third number will be n square plus 1. n square plus one. So we can take, for example, we can take 2n will be always a even number. This we can, this we can identify that because this n, the whatever the value of n is there, so that will be multiplied by 2. That means that 2n, value of 2n will be always a even number. Right? So we can say suppose any number is there, any number is there, like uh, we are taking a. We are taking a. The smallest number of Pythagorean triplet is 8. In that case, how can we find? And we can find here the value of m. So the value of m would be what? 2m is equal to we are getting a. Because this one is a even odd even number. So that would take as 2m. So 2m is equal to what? 8. So m would be m would be 4. Now m, the value of m is 4. Now from here we can find the other two Pythagorean triplet given by n square minus 1 and n square plus 1. So n square minus 1, so that would be what? It would be 4 square minus 1, so that is equal to 4 square is 16, minus 1 that is equal to 15, then n square plus 1, so it would be equal to 4 square plus 1, so it would be 4 square plus 4 square is 16 plus 1 is 17. So Pythagorean triplet would be what? 8, 15 and 17. Right? So any other Pythagorean triplet would be given by 2m then m square and m square minus 1. Similarly, we can take suppose any number is there of Pythagorean triplet is 6. So in that case, we will take for this will take as 2m. So if number is even, number is even in that case, we will take that as 2m. In that case, this m, the value of m would be 3. The value of m would be 3. Now we say this one is the first number of Pythagorean triplet. So second number will be 1, it will be m square minus 1, so it will be 3 square minus 1, 
So 3 square minus 1 is equal to 8. And then the third number would be n square plus 1 is equal to 3 square plus 1. So that is equal to 9 plus 1, 10. So the Pythagorean triplet are 6, 8 and 10. Right? So this is what the Pythagorean triplet is. The three numbers which are in the term of or in the term of Pythagorean theorem. So that numbers are in the Related to Pythagorean triplet that is called as Pythagorean triplet, and the numbers are given by 2m, m square minus 1, and m square plus 1. I hope this three formulas are clear to everyone. So, any of the number is given of Pythagorean triplet, from there we can find what we can find that and the remaining two numbers. Suppose in this case 17 is there, so in that case we need to identify that if this 17 is value of which this m square plus 1. And m would be always, that value of m would be always a natural number. Value of m would be always a natural number. This one, this one will be one thing that we need to identify or we need to take care of. I hope you have understood all the concepts. Thank you.